Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, today I'm going to be doing a gem pay dirt review. Actually, I'm not going to be doing it. I'm just going to be doing the very beginning, this part, and the very end where I tell you the review. The middle part where actually somebody gets to go through these gems is going to be my wonderful wife and my wonderful son. They're going to be doing this. So I'll be bringing this over to them in a minute. But for me, let's get through the details. This was from Dancing Bear, an Amazon seller. The, it's called the Rock and Mineral Activity Kit with over 150 pieces. As you can see, it's on the box and it has a money back guarantee. And it's also supposed to contain a meteorite. And I'll show you, this is a really, really cool box. As you can see some of the gems you can get on here, stuff like that. Really, really cool. Most times you see gem pater, it is almost always in a bag. This is the first time I've ever seen one that comes in a box, in a really nice box. When I first got it in the mail, I had no clue what it was because somebody sent this to me. And I was just like, what is this? Until I actually started reading. But let me give you their description. Rock Gem and Mineral Collection Activity Kit. Over 100 pieces with a full color educational identification sheet. Favorites include amethyst, quartz, tiger eye, jasper, calcite, Turquinite and many others. Find, sort, and identify rock. Mineral treasures are mixed with clean gravel so you can discover and identify like a real rock hound. This is a bonus gem, genuine Campo del Ciel meteorite fragment from Argentina. Fossilized shark teeth and arrowhead. Assembled in the USA, buying this kit from Dancing Bear provides skill building and wages to working adults with intellectual and development disabilities. Thumbs up for that. At the Pearl Buck Center in Eugene, Oregon. Money back guaranteed. If you're not completely satisfied, Dancing Bear will gladly refund your money plus shipping both ways. And then it's got a little bit more about teaching. It's essentially the duplicate information. Then at the bottom of the description, it says, teach us how to find, sort, and identify rocks, gems, and minerals. Search for rock and mineral treasures and identify specimens with full color identification sheet like a real rock hound. Most of the rock and minerals measure half inch to one inch. There are over 30 types, including these favorites, amethyst, clusters, agate, tiger, rose quartz, jasper, quartz, point, calcite, turconite, hematite, pyrite, small geode, and many others. And then plus again, the meteorite. So I'm gonna open the box just to show you what's inside. Got the little advertisement telling you who they are and the leave feedback and things like that. And this is the identification sheet. Normal one you see with most things of gem pay dirt. It does have nice descriptions. Most places they only give you this part. And you get this and you get a whole bunch of pictures and that's about it. This one seems to have descriptions on a lot of this and these rocks, which is really helpful. This helps probably more than the pictures do. And then you have the pay dirt itself. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna go set up at the table and let my wife and my son take over. Oh, let me weigh it. Just It doesn't say a weight. It does not say a weight, but just out of curiosity, I want to see how much it weighs, how much is in this. And you got two pounds, 1.2 ounces. So about two ounces of, two pounds of fun. So now we'll go over to the table. So we're all set up. Wife, son, going to go through some gems, find a meteorite. Let's get to it. Well, you might not find one. No, nope, there's one in there. It says every, every box has a Do you want to open meteorite. it or do you want me to open it? You open it. Okay. I'll be the fan in front of the camera of not being able to do it. It's got a thing. Did you already go? Like, yeah, I already did all that. So. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Mm -hmm. so put this between us. And then you said to put this in this bucket. Sure. This one thing I'm really looking forward to is that limestone. Here's another baggie in here. Oh my gosh. Magnets! <laughs> I already see the desert rose. Oh! Dee <laughs> Dee's being sneaky. So when you find them, Dee hold them towards the camera and say what they are so they know oh, what you're everywhere? finding. This is a desert rose? Good job. And I don't know any information about it. Yeah, you do. We got mm -hmm. is it, well on this one. It says gypsum rose. And they're on the back too. They have really good descriptions on the back. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is a phasey. Just go and get it after so it. So pretty peacock ore. But it says calcipyrite. Calcipyrite. Put it in my bucket. Since this is a quartz much. point. Nice, Dee Dee. Ooh, I bet you know what this one is. I think it would help Red if it was. I was thinking goldstone, but maybe not. Maybe it is. Because no it's not really knows. sparkly, but it's a little bit dusty from being in here. I think we should have had a bucket okay. of water. To go through it appropriately. Okay, which one are you going to do next? Because it's dusty. You can pick out the rocks, too, and just throw them on the rock pile. All right. What's that one? Uh, this one is tourmaline. That's what I was going to say. What's up, boo? Okay. This I is either just a rock or this might be just a rock. Is this one of the ones? No, this is limestone. This is limestone. This is the amethyst cluster. Oh, you got it. I'm going to look for some of oh, Look at that. Which one did I find? That's some hematite. No. I know because, yeah, it is because it was stuck to the other. That means it's magnetite. Hematite is not magnetic. It says magnetic hematite. It says it on the on the sheet. Magnetic hematite. Because it was stuck to oh peacock ore. This is peacock ore. Or calcipyrite. Or calcipyrite. Ooh, here's a pretty one. It's green calcite. These are so cool. Ooh, yeah, my. There's another desert rose. This is a. Uh, very nice arrowhead. Oh, oh careful. I'll flip the chair backwards. That is some um, quartz. <laughs> or amethyst. Mm -hmm. I think it's quartz. It kind of looks a little purpley. I think that's amethyst or quartz. It's kind of purple. Amethyst. Sure, amethyst then. Not quartz. Ooh, this one's so pretty. Blue howlite. You can see it because it says it on here. I know this one from anywhere. This is um, turquoise, and it's my birthstone. So. Yeah, and it also says on this one it's turquinite, but I don't know oh, if it's like the same thing. Yeah. But there is a little spot here that just says it's got small polished stones and extra small polished stones. So I got the random stuff. Meteor fragment on me. Is that it, or is it black lava? I think that might be the black lava rock. Is it really light? Yeah. Then that's black lava. Yeah, mine well, is black lava. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that this is your meteorite in here. Oh. It's a little oh, this is cool. So this Can one I is. Meteorite, you see it? You don't get it. Red tiger's eye. This is amethyst. That is amethyst. Most of you probably. Know that. So pretty. That everyone likes. Goldstone. If you really like pretty gems. piece of it. We got some of this. Oh, that's really pretty. So sparkly. Well, why do you get to open up that one? So You're sparkly. like, I don't want to do the gem mining. Well, I just want to see it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's pretty 2 dd I think this it's one is leopard skin jasper. Is this limestone? I think so. I'm not sure because it says it had other rocks in it. Well, I'll let you just go to <laughs> it. Up. You, you picked it up. You keep going with that one. That's mm -hmm. the black lava mm -hmm. rock. You need this more. Oh, D. Shark's teeth. What the heck is this? So sharp. Um, it, how light? Maybe? Snow. This is snowflake obsidian, I'm pretty sure. Is it on there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did see it on there. It's pretty. Shark's tooth. This is my. These are just rocks or not? I guess this is more limestone. <laughs> Chunk of rock. This is magnetic hematite. Or hematite? Hematite. It's magnetite. It says on here magnetic hematite. It's wrong. It's wrong. This is. Adventurine. Adventurine. This is Adventurine. Twinsies. Hematite is not magnetic and should not respond to a common magnet. However, many specimens Ooh, of hematite contain enough magnetite arrowhead. that they are attracted to a common magnet. This can lead to this an incorrect assumption calcite. that the specimen is 
magnetite or that hematite is magnetic. Some more red tiger's eye. I don't know. I'm just going off of what it says on here. This and is just it what is 100% ventrine? magnetic because it was picking this up. So. Wait, let me just check that th mine is. Do you want to look at the, I'm that's just the gonna... meteorite. Why don't you look at the meteorite, Didi? That's really cool. Yeah, take it out. <laughs> this that big... is more, did I say it's this? Tiger's eye? Whoa, red jasper. Oh, wow. It's so neat. I think it's, 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 so, it's so heavy. Really hard. So cool. Do you want to put it in yours, or do you want to do you want it in the whole baggie? Uh, I know what it is. Does it get like messed up if it's not in a bag? Well, because it, it feels the same with it. It's Ooh. really sharp. Feel this arrowhead. It's like really light and fluffy. It gets that, not hard at all. That, oh, yours is way better. It's Let's not even sharp. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, you have me oh. us. I have mine. <laughs> this is adventuring. This is red calcite. Ooh, one like half. Ooh. Adventuring. This is, have you got any pyrite? What am I going half? Adventuring. This is quartz, but it looks a little Oh, this one's just adventuring. There's a lot, because there's this one and this one. Just hand it to me. Let's do this. Get some I like that. Off of it. There you go. You're so pretty. I don't have any in my collection, so. And this is more red jasper. Nice. Ooh. Just saying, guys, I don't think you need to look through more adventuring, so. <laughs> just gonna oh, pop it in. It What's this one? Turritella? Turritella? Looks like it's got like little bits in it. It's like little circles. It's pretty. What the so heck, heck is here. this? It's like a. It's that like a looks jelly like bean. <laughs> I think that's that Botswana agate. Doesn't it look kind of like that on the hair? Yeah. This is Botswana agate. Nice, Steve. Good job. Which doesn't look very much like this normal. Is agate. You think this one is maybe um, quartz? Yeah. This is so light. I don't see through. Oh, this is a cool shaped one. Do you like this one? It's got like a little yellow one inside. This is a good specimen if you want it. Mine? I'm just going to eat it. Don't eat it. It's healthy. Looking for something exciting. Look, there's a double decker desert rose. It's like two. It looks like a snowman. This is a double decker desert rose. Even though it's not that. Even though Did you see it looks thing. like a little snowman? Mm -hmm. It's a little desert rose snowman. This is how light. Are we putting the ones that we are this thinking might life. be just rocks in here? Yeah. Um, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. They're all rocks. Maybe you just take the rocks out and you just them. This is kind of night. I don't even so know how to see it, but... This is a snowflake obsidian. This is something. This is Halloween. <laughs> this is Halloween. Uh, I don't know what this one is. Maybe it's a. This is Tomatella. You think yours is? Yeah, yours looks a lot. Like it. Either that or your snowflake Jasper. Ooh, what is this? It looks like a little turquoise blue brain. That's my <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> it looks like small zombie brain. I guess this is that's probably that turquoise. Obsidian. Turquoise. This is. Do you see the obsidian? Tiger's eye? No, the other piece. The one you just put in there. Okay. This. Mm. this. Oh is my gosh. Amethyst. I guess all this turquoise stuff just kind of looks like little pieces of like bubble gum or brains. Do you want these what little bits? They're so the light, too. What the heck is this? Oh, it's that, um, geode. Small geode. This is a small geode. It's very small. It's cute. It's, little... yeah, it's very cute. Sometimes. Lots of quartz. They just chuck away all of the, um, 
rocks, so then it's easier for us. Lots of uh, rose quartz. This one's kind of bally and cute. Thank you. I like that they're like kind of tumbled so that they're of nice shape, you know? This is the, this is adventuring. I think you all know what that looks like from the million pieces I showed you. Oops. There's a tiny snitchling on the amethyst. Little bits. Okay. What you got? Yeah. I don't know what it is. Mm. Just take it. I don't know. I had one like this too. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's like see through. Almost looks like smoky quartz, but it's not on here. Mm -hmm. I had one like it too. These ones. See, I don't know. I'm thinking these are smoky this quartz. This is even a it doesn't quartz. Say. If you know about gems, you you probably know about that one because it's really cool. That is. Looks like labradorite. Look at this one. I don't know what that is. Have you got any soda light? Yes, I have. Oh, yay. Also, I've got tons of my own collection, which is wrong. that one. And I'm lost. I don't know what this one is. Oh, that's uh, red calcite. Well, this is red calcite. Here's the new shark's tooth. Um, Do you want a shark's tooth? Uh, Do you have one? No. Um, <laughs> get that one. Oh my gosh, look, there's so many more shark's teeth in here. They're so sharp. This is blue howlite. It's very small. You can barely see it. But it's there. I think this might be... Uh, well, I mean... this gave me three new things. Three new things to my collection. Which ones? Or four, huh? Which ones? I don't have here, benzene, right? um, green calcite, red calcite, and I don't have tourmaline. What meteorite? Oh, I'm not. Did we count it? Yeah, some shark As a gem. Right? Yeah. Amethyst. This is quartz. It's smoky quartz, so. Oh, this is that cool tourmaline. I can't look. This is quartz. I mean... We gotta add to your collection. All the good vibes. This is amethyst. Oh my gosh, a tiny, very sharp tar shark's tooth. Ew! So sharp. Oh my gosh! You get stab, stab. All these teensy, tiny bits. Oh my gosh, look at how small. Look at how sharp these little tiny shark's teeth are. And little bits of quartz. I think some of these are rocks, just like not mineral. This is black lava. But it's on the back. More shark's teeth. Do you imagine if our, if our microphone doesn't capture any of this and then we've got to do it again? Nope. This one is... This is polished adventure. It basically I think, looks the same. Well, wait, right, never mind all of this. What's your favorite rock that you've gotten so far? Meteorite! You want to love a meteorite! Peace. It weighs a so lot much. for such a tiny piece! Leopard skin jasper? Oh my gosh! That compared to like black lava, there's a huge difference. Which I thought black lava. are huge too. I mean, you should. This, All these little this, bits. Of, this piece of okay. me might outweighs this. Ooh, I didn't get to see this one. This is cute. Yeah, oh. oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is a nice. This nice is quartz. One. It's like quartz with some citrine in it. And these are shark teeth. How light? And that's one of agate. And red jasper. This is soda light. 
to all of our little quartz pieces. This is amethyst. Rose quartz. What else we got in here? Teeth, no. Teeny tiny teeth. Should have liked, yeah. It's it's nice. like. Thanks, boo. Oh, thank you. This is like what? I don't know. What is this tiny chunk? Tiger's eye. This amethyst. This is that little shark's tooth. There's some like tiny shark's teeth off in the bottom. This is red jasper or red calcite. I think these are Not little really quartz. Different. That you miss some soda light. And just saying, so it's different. so small that you can't show the camera. Like my fingers quartz just coming. Those quartz, little bitty ones. And this is 1% red jasper. Can't argue with that. And this is. Well, I bet someone in the comments is going to argue. Turritella. Turritella. This yeah, pretty amethyst. good. I think that's pretty much it. This is short. Look, Dame, there's a tiny, teeny, tiny piece of peacock or Peacock. I think these are just rocks. Yeah. Alright. Oops, except for that one, because that's gorgeous. Alright, did y'all have fun? Was yeah. it good? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Especially a lot of gems. All right, well, I'm gonna. Meteorite. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Oh I'll wait, it's more than this. I'm interrupting you so much. All right, I'm gonna go and move the camera so you can see the gems better, and then we'll put up the review. So let me flip the camera around. Well, let's show off some of the things we got today. What my son got for his new collection. These are all gems or rocks or minerals that he already has in his collection. Zoom in some. So these are all, like I said, ones he already has. But duplicates are always what I wanted. And now, let's show you the stuff that's new to his collection. All of those, every one of those will be new to his collection. We'll zoom in on those as well. And he's really excited about that one there, the meteorite. First one in his collection. All right, I'm gonna be right back with the review. Let me just go back to my table. All right, finish writing my review and let's get to it. Again, this was from Dancing Bear, an Amazon seller. It was a rock, mineral, and meteorite 150 piece activity kit. It had a lot of gems you could find with no guaranteed which ones you would find, but you were guaranteed 150 pieces with a money back guarantee if you just didn't like it. Its cost was $27.95. Shipping was free, so total cost $27.95. Now, before I go into the review, let me say when I first got this in, I was extremely skeptical. I thought for sure, once I saw the size of this box, I thought, okay, I'm going to get a lot of little bitty chips, some, you know, little pieces like this. I'm not going to get very much, and it's just going to be a giant waste. And then, even when I opened the box, and I saw the big stuff in there, I still thought it was just gonna be a little bit of chips and there wasn't gonna be that much material to go through. As you saw, it's a very small box, it was a small bag. And even though I didn't go through this stuff, my son did, my wife did, I sat there at the table and watched them and I am absolutely amazed at how much variety we got out of that $28 box. Now Amazon is notoriously high in their fees, somewhere around 25% of what a seller sells something for go into fees for Amazon. So this doesn't leave a lot of room for sellers to put a lot of stuff in stuff into their bags of pay dirt, which is why the pay dirt isn't as good when you buy it on Amazon as it is off website. So it really, really surprised me at how much we got out of this. And the variety is awesome. I mean, out of all these are different. And my son added about 10 new rocks to his collection. So he's really impressed with that. His new favorite 
of course, is the meteorite. He loves it. That's his absolute new favorite. He got, I believe it's somewhere around the 10 mark on new pieces to add to his collection. And it's not even that they're different pieces, it's just the way they are. For example, they have rough ones and polished ones in the same category. So you have rough stones and polished stones, and that's really cool. So that way you can have both of something. You know, not only do you get a polished one, but then you get a little rough one. So you can see the difference if you actually went and got them polished. And I really like that. I'm so impressed with this kit. I just can't tell you how much. So let's get to the review. Now for value, I'm giving this a 10. For 28 bucks, I would buy this all day. In fact, after my wife and my son got finished going through this, before I even came in here to do this, I hopped on Amazon to see if they had any other kits just because I was like, I'm going to buy another one. I'll probably buy just another one of these just to have fun another time for the next time one of our cousins comes over or some of his friends come over. I will definitely buy some of these for them because this, you get an entire collection buying this. So the value is a 10. I mean, this is, you got a collection of stuff right here. For fun factor, this was a 10. I was doubtful. I didn't think that little bitty box would have this much fun in it, but they're getting a 10. I am floored. This is awesome painter description a 10 they put a lot of detail into this i mean just looking at the box the box has a ton of detail in it i mean they went all out and i really like that it helps you pick out stuff it helps you buy something the more information you get so painter description is definitely a 10 for quantity and packaging you can see this over 150 i didn't count them but that looks like over 150 i'm not going to complain about that the packaging is excellent. Again, it comes in a nice sturdy box. It comes from Amazon, so there's nothing to be damaged. It comes with a bag inside of the box, so nothing was going to leak out. 10 on that. For customer service and shipping, it does ship through Amazon, so Amazon's totally in control of that. If you have Prime like I do, it got to me in two days. Really impressed with that. But the customer service, I got to tell you, the customer service on this was so awesome. I emailed them and I was asking a couple questions about their pater. They replied to me within 15 minutes. I got a real reply. It wasn't a, oh, here's a set copy paste one. It was a real reply from me. Now, unfortunately, the questions I asked were already in the description. Like I said, their description is so detailed. I didn't really have anything extra to ask them. So that's why I didn't throw in that little bit in the beginning. I just asked them if there's variety in here, and they did tell me it was over 100, but they were, it really amazed me. Usually Amazon, if you do get a seller to respond, it's usually within 24 to 48 hours, which to me is acceptable. But this one really surprised me that within 15 minutes, I've never had a seller on Amazon ever respond to me within 15 minutes. So absolutely awesome. So total score for Dancing Bears, Rock, Mineral, and Meteorite Kit is a perfect 10 absolute perfect 10. I'm absolutely floored. I love this set. I'm definitely going to be buying more of these. I'll probably buy one tonight just to have as a backup for if someone comes over. I'll have one in store just waiting for them. So all that's left is to pop up the score right here on the screen. And after that, we're going to give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So check out the score. For today's 24 karat gold plated dime giveaway is the winner is going to be nhra gold so nhra gold make sure you email me so i can send this off to you and everyone else thanks for watching and happy panning staying on my best behavior because you know you're doing weird outtakes i'm not doing anything baby i know you are no, your gem's going this one. Daddy's oh. pitting us against each other. And then and he says, uh, if you put yours here. here, we can't share. He says, teamwork's Is Con out. here? Okay, let's go. Well, I'm waiting on y'all. Can't be have... rolling for the last four minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, I know. Cause Why don't you just come sit here? Oh, that's really close. <laughs> I meant like over there, not like right here. <laughs> <sighs>
Like it's precious. But then there's this one. And it's so gorgeous. And then there's this one that apparently daddy wants to argue with me about because he's all like, no, I don't know what this is. It's magnetite. But is it though? But is it? Devi got 